Ha sha sha sha, it is in fact your boy, the old one. Today we're bringing you your new favorite holiday side dish, mashed potatoes. They're fast and easy, they're buttery and creamy, they're salty and smooth, like my brain. So the first thing we need to do is peel the potatoes. Do you need to peel them? Yes. Do I want to hear there are nutrients in the skin? No. Peel the potatoes. We're making a holiday showstopper over here. You can worry about your micros on January 1st like everyone else. Make sure you keep your fingers tucked away from the peeler. Otherwise, you may accidentally peel your hand meats away from your hand bones. Those aren't the holiday memories we're trying to create. Place each peeled potato into a bowl of cold water. This will prevent browning and remove some starch. You can see it floating here. Welcome to the cooking hack portion of the show. If you've ever tried cutting a starchy vegetable, you may have encountered this problem. However, through some sort of reduced friction sorcery, if you simply employ the patent pending just the tip technique, you can avoid potatoes sticking to your knife. Cut your potatoes into similarly sized pieces and put them into a pot of cold water. As they sit, you'll notice more starch floating to the top. Pour out that starchy water and fill it back up with cold fresh water. Now turn that fresh water into salt water and boil those potatoes. While they boil, you'll notice foam forming on top. This is a combination of dirt, starch, and a few proteins, commonly referred to as scum. Skim it off the top. You do not want to eat that. The potatoes are going to cook for somewhere between 14 and 20 minutes. You'll know they're done when you can pierce them using just the weight of a knife and it pulls out with no resistance. Once they've cooked, strain out the water and leave them to steam together while you prepare the next part, the drink. We used four cups of milk, a quarter cup of butter, a Gordon Ramsay teaspoon of salt, and an equal amount of black pepper, and half a cup of garlic cheese spread. It's a little sticky. You just heat them all together, and they're ready. Now let's talk about the main character of this anime, the potato racer. This is the single most useful tool for restaurant quality potatoes at home. You will achieve a uniform smoothness that the powdered product could only pine for. It's beyond simple to use and you've practiced for this in the past using Play-Doh during playtime. This is where it pays off. You place the potatoes inside of it, rest a plunger on top of them, and press down to make potato squiggles. Not a single lump in sight. This racer is going to be linked in the description. The potatoes are parched so we're pouring in part of the drink. You're not going to need all of it right now, but keep it around. You can use it to rehydrate the leftover mash if it appears to be drying out. Fold the potatoes and liquid together, and that's all there is to it. Just drop them into your chefiest serving bowl and enjoy. Top it with a pat of butter, some black pepper, and even some of the drink if you want to. And if you thought all we were eating is mashed potatoes, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe since this is your first time here, and watch as we throw together a quick air fried tender bowl. Now we're gonna pass it on over to Food Tasting Brian to take us home. So it took probably between 30 and 40 minutes just from peeling it, going through it, rinsing it, and then boiling it. And then bringing up what uh, in the field I've heard referred to a lot of times as the drink, that water butter mixture that goes into the potatoes. 40 minutes, homemade mash, which is definitely gonna beat out any of that box stuff you get. And I mean, it's super smooth. And I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to start eating. I'm just going to... As always, that's actually... It's actually... Alright. 
I, we're gonna we're gonna reveal a little bit of how the sausage is made. The longer it sits, the better that um, that garlic spread stuff that you wanted to throw in there. The stronger that gets. That that actually was probably the best bite we've had today. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go back in for more. I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm gonna go for a second bite. All right. So here's the reality. Unless you, unless you have the ricer and one of those fine mesh sieves that they pass the rice potato through, you're not gonna get a truly lump-free mashed potato. I just wanna set realistic expectations for everybody. That being said, when you pass it through the ricer as opposed to just hitting it with the, a potato masher, you're gonna have to censor that one out again. The, uh, <laughs> whether you're just hitting it with the potato masher, or you send it through your, um, what do they call this? Or you send it through your stand mixer. The difference between what you get from the rice and that is, is that those lumps are so much farther and fewer in between. This is killer. Also, I don't care about the, the black pepper. Um, a lot of people are really pretentious about it. They don't like it because it's too contrasting. You should have used white pepper because it blends in with the potato. Black pepper tastes good, white pepper doesn't. Suck it. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. What? Oh, can I? All right. Well, yeah, this is, I mean, this is, this is, this is going to be your showstopper side, right? Everybody loves mash. Anybody who likes potatoes, I should say, loves mash. And then these are, they're going to be rich, buttery. They're going to be light. I mean, I'm, I'm still freaking eating them. So there's, there's no reason not to make these, by the way. So you don't, you don't even have to race through this on the day that you're going to serve them. You can actually do the rice potato and then leave them in the fridge for the, for the evening. And then you can make that drink either right before showtime when you're gonna serve them the day of, or just a couple days later. It'll be fine. Dope, dope. But yeah, this is this was our quick, easy, hopefully painless guide on how to make potato or mashed potatoes that don't suck. So, I guess a salute, and we'll see you in the next one.